Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general uh, ruin reading for the sign of Virgo. Yes, I said ruin. And don't worry, I'll come back mid-month to do tarot slash oracle. I just thought it'd be fun to spice it up a little bit. For those of you who've been with me from the beginning, I do and have made uh, ruin videos before. I enjoy all types of... Uh, forms of divination. Not only do I do tarot and oracle, I do ruins, I do casting of bones, I do um, shell readings, I do tea leaf readings, I read auras, I do um, palm tree, amongst other things. And um, like I said, I very, I very much enjoy doing all those forms of divination. So I think I'm going to start to incorporate those more into our videos just to spice it up. Um, Anyways, like I said, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate with you guys. I'm sorry. Um, if they do have fun running with them, if they don't have fun throwing them out, it just means that these messages weren't meant for you this time, but hopefully next time they will, so I'm sorry. And um, also, feel free to swap energies if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your environment, okay? And um, as always, thank you so, so much for um, all your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. I do read every comment. I do respond. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my humble videos. It means the world to me. It really does. And I have made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here. Same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more. And I'll make sure to link that below. And if you guys would like a personalized reading, you can always hit me up, leave me a comment, or message me on my Facebook page as well. And uh, for those of you who would like to bless my channel, you can do so by... Uh, paypal.me slash moongoddess11 or uh, Facebook pay. And these are your ruins. So first we have Dagas. Then we have Othola and it's in reverse. Then we have Manas in reverse as well. Okay, so with the first ruin, it's all about awakening, breakthroughs, inspiration, positive outcomes. So I do feel that there's things going to be shifting in your life. I also feel like there's going to be like a new start or a new awakening in your life. You might be viewing things differently than you normally have been. Um, there's going to be like, in, you're going to view things in another light, I guess. That's how I can say it. You might be overcoming obstacles you've had in the past. Things might be evolving for you. There's going to be some transformation. Some good things are going to be coming towards you. There's going to be a balance where there hasn't been one before. Um, and, and you being a Virgo, I do feel like you guys are kind of up and down. You're never truly, truly balanced. But that's something that you really, really do desire. You desire balance. Okay, I do feel things balancing out more in your life. And it's going to be like night and day. You're going to clearly see the difference. You're going to see it. Um, I also feel that there might be somebody... Um, somebody coming towards your life who's going to kind of open your eyes who is going to kind of enlighten you maybe guide you it doesn't necessarily have to be a, like a spouse uh, or, or like a relationship it can be anyone but for some of you it's definitely like someone you who's caught your interest this person might be more open-minded more spiritual than you and this person's might going to be kind of like opening your eyes to new ideas new new things this person kind of is like melting your cold heart. No, I'm just kidding. Melting your heart a bit. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of rebirth here. Um, you might have like, this person might have like a good influence in, in your life. And it's going to really get you to see things, view things different, differently. Sorry, guys. Um, so then we have um, Othola and it's in reverse. So with this being in reverse, I do feel that some of you might be very, um, some of you might be very into history. Uh, maybe you're like history buffs, maybe very into researching things, finding things out. Um, this could even be you being snoopy on social media. <laughs> um, I also feel like you guys are trying your hardest to be stable. Again, you want some sort of balance, which I feel like you are going to eventually get because of the first Rune Dagas. Um, I feel like some of you might want... You might be very worried um, and not... Um, You might be worried that you might not have some sort of kind of um, legacy. For some of you, maybe you were never into uh, wanting to have children. And because of this person who entered your life, for some of you, like I said, someone might be into you. This person might kind of guide you to like view things differently. Maybe because of this person, now you are thinking about children. Maybe you are thinking about settling down. Maybe you're thinking about some sort of having responsibilities. Or this could also be because of uh, wanting a legacy for, you know, um, a career. 
you want to leave your print on this world you want to leave some sort of legacy maybe like i said for children maybe uh, your career to pass this down to somebody or just leave your mark in the world like i said this person who's come into your life is kind of opening opened your eyes and warmed your heart a bit um so this is for some of you not all for sure um i also feel that um i feel like some of you are kind of um in a hurry i see like you guys are like rushing rushing to do something or rushing you're rushing things okay S something in your life you're rushing it i feel and you've been a virgo again i feel like your mind's always rushing your mind's always thinking you kind of never stop um spirit really wants you to try to chill out for a bit try to slow down because this is going to cause you delays okay and uh, because you might not do things the right way because you're kind of rushing things so this and and then it's going to cause you to have delays because you didn't do this thing right or you didn't do the you didn't um make the right decision okay and then with manas and it's in reverse um i do feel that you are being viewed or you want to be viewed to be very or you want to be very independent um, you want to stand alone. I feel like this is something that's very important for you. You might be a lone wolf or you're seen this way. Um, you might stay to yourself. Yes, you might have friends and stuff like that or you hang out with them. But nobody really truly knows you, knows your soul. There's a block. You don't let people in to a certain point. Even your closest friends, even in relationships, you've never let anybody fully in. I feel like you might have before, maybe once or twice, and that blew up in your face. So from then it was just in your head even more like, oh, forget it. I was right. Fuck this shit. I'll never do this shit again. I'll never let anyone in. But like I said, I feel somebody coming in, whether it be friendship or relationship or anything like that. And it's really going to warm your heart and want you to let your guard down. But like I said, you've always been sort of a, like a lone wolf. Um, you want to be viewed that way. You just want to keep to yourself. There's things and thoughts that you keep to yourself. You might want to be very independent. You might want to be working on yourself, maybe having standing on your own two feet is very important to you maybe moving on your own for some of you maybe never have been on your own completely maybe you were with parents maybe you were the spouse a roommate friends whatever a brother sister um i see you guys wanting to expand and want to be independent okay you also might be very hard on yourself and uh, again as being a virgo i can totally see you being hard on yourself okay um, it's like, I feel like you're never really happy. Like for some people, they'll reach a goal and then they're, they can relax and ah, I'm happy about this for you. I feel like even if you were to reach a goal, then you just don't want to keep on going and going and going, which is fine. You know, it's fine to want to be assertive. It's fine to want to, you know, go up in life, but you're not taking time to smell the roses and enjoy the moment. Okay. Which again, Kind of goes with uh, the other ruin, Othola tell, being in reverse, telling you to slow your ass down a bit, slow your roll, basically, okay? For some of you, I feel like there's still repressed anger about something. Um, you might be angry at people. You might be, and, and you're kind of projecting your blame on others. And yes, they might have, they might have done something wrong, but I also feel like there's things that you might be, you know, projecting, maybe unbeknownst to you, you are. Uh, doing this or someone can be doing this to you take it as it resonates guys okay um so just be mindful of that okay try to go within and, and try to view this um in the right light in a light um come with things in love okay and um i feel like this person whoever this person is i would um i think they're they it was divinely orchestrated for this person to come into your life to help you and guide you okay and uh this is your reading i hope it resonated please give me a like if it did a comment below let me know what's going on with you guys i would really appreciate it and as always stay magical thanks guys